Okay. I'm Pandu from the Red Closet Podcast. Have you ever heard of a creature called the Kraken? In Norse mythology from Northern Europe, the Kraken is a giant sea creature. Its enormous body size is often mistaken for an island in the middle of the sea. With a length of tens of meters, this creature is often depicted in a terrible way, taking the form of a giant squid or octopus that endangers sailing ships. In terms of size, the Kraken is the largest creature ever told by humans. A creature that appears in Northern European folklore, was later rumored to have appeared in the real world. So, in this episode I'm gonna talk about Kraken a giant squid. The Kraken is first mentioned in Orvar Otter, a 13th century Icelandic tale involving two sea monsters, Hafgufa, Sea Mist, and Lingbakr, Back Heather. Hafgufa is believed to be a reference to the Kraken. Around 1250, another report of the Kraken was documented in the Norwegian scientific paper Koning Skugsja. It is said that there are only two of them because they cannot reproduce and will need so much food that they cannot survive for long. Kraken, the stuff of Sela's superstitions and mythos, was first described in the modern age at the turn of 18th century travelogue by Francesco Negri, followed by Dano Norwegian natural history writings. Egid, 1741, described the Kraken in detail and equated it with the Hafgufa of medieval lore, but first description is often credited the Norwegian bishop Pontopadin, 1753. The bishop made an identification of the Kraken as an octopus of tremendous size, and wrote that it had a reputation of pulling down ships but the French malacologist Denis Montfort of the 19th century is better known for these. Okay, before we go too deep, you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss the next content. Okay let's go on. Although often depicted as a giant octopus or squid, the kraken is also considered to be similar to a giant crab that can trigger ocean whirlpools, in any form, the Kraken is a legendary monster creature that was scary to ancient sailors. The Swedish writer Jacob Wallenberg in his work, My Son on the Galley, 1781, once described the Kraken threat to sail as ships. Gradually, the Kraken rose to the surface. When he is 10 to 12 fathoms, the ships should move out of the vicinity, for they will soon explode like a floating island and spit water from its nostrils, which can go for miles. Before Jacob Wallenberg from Sweden wrote about the Kraken with a touch of his imagination, hundreds of years before there had been other writings. The work of the King Sphere of Norway in 1180 was also widely discussed in his time. That this sea monster came from one real figure, namely a squid in ancient times. The sailors in the past also told a lot of terrible experiences after returning from exploring the ocean. Each experience of meeting a strange sea creature then becomes a story passed down from generation to generation by imagination from generation to generation. Not only written in Swedish and Norwegian folklore, there are also other works of fiction from Jules Verne, the French writer who wrote 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, 1879. The book is equipped with illustrations of when the Kraken attacked the ship. From a variety of existing literature, Kraken is more influenced by fiction, but the author was inspired by the experience of sailors in the real world, so, are these creatures merely fictional creatures or have they ever existed on Earth? Carl Linnaeus, 
The scientist who is dubbed the father of modern classification, has even made a separate classification for the kraken, which is a type of cephalopod mollusk. Then in 1853, there was a giant cephalopod found on the coast of Denmark. A Norwegian scientist, Japetus Steenstrup called it Archituthus dux, which is scientifically described as a squid measuring 30 meters long. Stories that have long been considered myths or legends have become history in the development of science. Although the kraken is often described as a mysterious mythological creature, in fact the kraken or giant squid is also a marine animal even though its size is not as large as described. Reporting from Independent, giant squid can also fail when attacking ships. They will therefore swim around the ship and create a vortex to drag various materials. Although large and dangerous, its presence can also provide benefits, for example about the fish that swarm on it. Despite the risk, fishermen can catch more fish around the kraken vortex. Okay, that's all from Kraken's story. If you have a request or suggestion, you can write it in the comment below. If you like this content, please share this video to your friends, your family, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all.